G'day and welcome to the Scrapyard. This is a brand new start in a very restricted environment. I'm landing in the desert. I have no ability to build a whole bunch of blocks. I've got to find them. I can't mine. I can't refine. I can't use assemblers. This is all going to be find blocks and put stuff together. But to make it even more special, there are a whole bunch of other people out and about. And hopefully we'll get to work as a team every now and then so that we can collect even more stuff and hopefully be more productive as a group as there are some rather nefarious entities on this planet which we're hoping to clear out so that we can eventually escape. That's the goal, that's what we're going to do. And I've got this little rough and ready rover and to begin with, I'm just going to be driving around trying to find where on earth there's some scrap about here. Hopefully I manage to find a bit because I don't even have a gyroscope yet which is going to make my style of driving very questionable. Very questionable indeed. So while there are other people on this server, we're not going to be doing anything to fight each other. It's all going to be rather peaceful, all PvE, all friendly, hopefully. Set my speed limit up a bit. Let's go. I think I saw something roughly in this direction, about three kilometers away. Now hopefully these sand dunes are relatively easy to traverse in this tiny little rover. On this rover, I've got a little bit of a hydrogen supply. I've got a battery and I've got a programmable block and I've got an incomplete gyroscope, which that's going to be my first goal to find the parts to complete that. If I have a look, I think what I need for that is, yeah, I'm going to have to find a couple of motors, but the large steel tube's probably going to be the tougher part to find. Oh. This is a beautiful set of sand, sand dunes, though. Oh, there we go. Spotted something. What am I going to find first? I wonder how lucky I'm going to get. Some of you might have seen me play with this scrapyard setup over on my Twitch channel. I've updated the content part of the mod so that there's a whole lot more to be found. But I think the thing that's going to change this the most is the server environment and having other people to help me out using various different things to make life easier or more interesting. These sand dunes are huge. They are pretty good to drive on with something this small, though. I feel relatively safe going at a decent clip. Oh, there's what I spotted. Right, what have I found? I have found... <laughs> a dead, mostly dead spawn rover. Okay. Hopefully that's got something good on it, though. Okay, got a few motors. Does anything in here have large steel tubes? No, it doesn't. I'm still without a gyroscope. Alright, I'll use my connector at the rear to... as my cargo. But let's pick up everything here. <laughs> and someone does a wrong <laughs> slash on their GPS. Oopsie. <laughs> oh, wait, that had a large steel tube. Yes, that was worth sc scrapping. Uh... Okay, I've got a large steel tube, I just need one more motor, and then I've got a gyroscope. That's fantastic. I should have a motor in the back here, and I do. Cool, I have a gyro. That is a big, big plus. That's going to make me much less likely to die. That's great. Cool, I have a gyro. I am off to a good start. My main goal at the outset here is to find myself some sort of large grid facility, a base, somewhere I can call home, at least initially. My hope is to turn my home into a bit of a trading hub so people can come there, bring their various blocks of, or components of different type that they're organizing to trade with other people so that everyone benefits from that. And I think making my place the trading hub makes a lot of sense. Oh, oh, yes, okay, something else in front of me. Power-wise, we've got five hours of push. So there's something 2.4Ks that way. Oh, that's got a tower on it. That I'm going to head to first. That's probably more valuable. I'll head along this ridge line and see if I can see the thing off to the right. But a, a tower like that could mean a wind turbine. And that means a power source. Super, super, super important. Because I don't have a power source on here. I'm 
like I need to f either find a hydrogen engine or find a solar panel or a wind turbine because I can't build those either. That looks like a wind turbine. I think I've spotted a wind turbine. Yes. That is a big win to start off with. That is a really good safety net. Okay, I'm just going to come to a bit of a halt. See if I can spot the thing over there. And that's another one. I've got two. Yes. Okay, now i just got to figure out how to move them. I believe I've stumbled onto two wind turbines straight away. That is incredibly lucky. Got my gyroscope fixed from my first wreck. And now straight to two power sources. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'll have to see what's at this one first before I drive onto the other one. But I think it looks like there's pretty much just the wind turbine. A couple of old fences, some old feeding troughs. What's this? Oh, there's another vehicle here. That might give me enough materials to maybe... Maybe extend my wheelbase a bit. So that would make me a bit safer. My main goal, like, early on is to extend this wheelbase back so that my heavy connector because it's going to get loaded up with parts, is not right on the rear axle, because that's going to cause me to tip a bit. Okay. Uh, guess I'll just start grinding, grab some basic components to begin with. I've really enjoyed playing Space Engineers this way. It's a very slow way to play, but one of the things that I really like about it is that it is a very slow way to play, and it gives you time to appreciate each little step along your way to getting to that sort of resource utopia that we usually reach in Space Engineers. That point where we're like, I actually don't care about the resources I've got anymore. I've got so much, it doesn't matter. Now, I'm torn as to whether I want to bring these batteries as they are. Do they have any power cells in them? They don't. I think I might just scrap them and hope that I find better batteries later. I don't know what to do with that turbine. I think... I think I might mark this location and hope it's still here when I come back. When I've got the ability to move it. Hopefully that one won't won't be gone when I come back. I really don't have the means to do anything with that. Go check out this other little settlement over here and see if I'll get something good from it. Oh, there's something else over... Let's call that... Which way? That was west-southwest, okay. Alright, there's a bit of a shed here. Maybe another vehicle, looks like. So I've got a truck with... Does this have any blocks that I actually want? slightly tempted by these cargo containers because I can't build cargo containers either. Just check whether they've got anything in them first. Can I see the rest of them? No. I have to hack them first. Okay, so we've got some large steel tubes, some construction components, motors, and a little bit of bulletproof glass. I think I do want to try and get these across over to my rover. I'm just going to check what's in here first because if there's a medium cargo in here, I'm not going to care about the small. And there's a medium in here. I can't believe I just said that as that happened. That was perfect. Ooh, and there's a programmable block too. Okay. So, do I have enough stuff to get a merge block going? So I think I'm gonna try and extend this rover and see what I can do. So in terms of the blocks that we've got access to, it is still quite a few, but it's a lot less than <laughs> we usually have. I need to jack this up so I can extend its wheelbase. I need to move the connector rearward so that I can put the cargo container on here. Let's hope I've got enough bits to make a whole piston and a landing gear on it. Now I've got no jetpack either. <laughs> Seems like I'm just rattling off restriction after restriction, but that's kind of what it is. So I'm gonna have to make sure I can walk to everything. I mean, I do have a jetpack so that I can do this, but I don't have enough power to actually lift myself at all. I can't. And I keep sliding under there. That's really annoying. Oh, I do it this way. There we go. That's what I wanted. Alright, let's lift this up. So we can take the wheels off. And extend the body. Now I can make connectors, right? Yes. Can make connectors. <laughs> so... I'm going to see if I can repair this medium cargo. I'll bring it out of here first. Grab hold of that. Let's bring it over. 
Oh, don't smash it into the ground. This thing is valuable. I do not want to break it. How many computers? Just lacking the display, so I should be able to get this built. Cool. I just gotta hack it. And it's empty. Sweet. So I can use that to grab all of the stuff out of here and then store it while I'm extending this vehicle. Right, grind the connector off. And I'll take the wheels off too. This is a very strong start. I think while I've got this up on chocks, I should widen the wheelbase too. Not just extend it. And looking at where the cockpit is, I think, and where the survival kit is, probably more to the point. I think I'll extend out this side. Add maybe three blocks in between. I could go to five by five wheels, but I think I might lack enough. Yeah, I've got, yeah, I don't have enough large steel tube to do this, to do it with five by fives. Uh, left, three by three. Yeah, that's not too wide. That'll be okay. Much less likely to roll at least. Wide enough and long enough. And once I get more materials, I'll add an extra set of wheels so that I got six. Then I'll hopefully be in a position where I can save up for the five by fives. And this is what I mean about the feeling that sense of progression. Like every single step along the way is something that I get to feel like I've achieved. Uh, rather than the usual way we play space, space engineers where we just you kind of just get those things really quickly. I like this slower pace of existing and getting to really appreciate each each little improvement along the way. It is certainly not a playstyle for everybody. <laughs> and I don't I don't imagine everyone would want to play this way and I know a lot of people are frustrated by the extreme lengths that I go to in terms of the slowness here. But I enjoy it. Okay, I should weld these up just so they've got Maximum durability. Don't want this thing popping and losing a wheel. That would be awful. Would fit into, let's play it really slow, though. <laughs> okay. This is very lopsided, and I'm not super happy about that. Um, What could I do here? I really do want to put the container in the middle. I don't really have a reason for it to be linked up to the survival kit, to be honest. So it actually should be okay. If I lift this? No. I'm going to have to empty it before I can lift it. Where can I put the stuff? If I just slap a connector on the side here. I'll just use that for now. Oh dear, someone's already rolled over. <laughs> very easy to do. Very, very easy. Okay, we'll empty that out as much as we can. And then hopefully I can lift this up. Yep, okay, good. And now I need to get a set of merge blocks ready for this thing. If it's going to be in the middle, I should be able to grind this out. A block there. Grab a little bit more steel plate. In fact, let's see if I've got enough stuff for a merge block. Pair of them. Yes, I do. Good. I'm using merge blocks rather than weld pads because weld pads cost me materials. Every time you use a weld pad, you lose a computer and a couple of other things. Right now, I can't afford that. Later on, I'll probably not care and not be so worried about losing a little bit of material, but at this stage, I want to be super, super stingy and save every little bit. Merge block there, and I'll put a merge block on the top of the container once I get it up here. So, grab it with R, right click to move into the middle, and left click to hold it. Now I can control where this goes a bit more. It was a little bit awkward with build vision. I think, yeah, I definitely want the conveyor ports from this cargo container on the side with that there and I should be able to put a merge block on and get this locked down. So I actually managed to get that pretty much spot on in position to begin with. There we go. Grind that away. I'll keep that ramp there because I'll probably need that later to get up on top. Then connector on the back. I'm good to drive away with a lot more cargo space. I obviously could use connectors as my cargo space and that's perfectly fine. I'd just rather not. I like having a proper cargo. There are a whole bunch of bypasses like that that you can probably figure out over time with this style of play. And that's part of the... That is part of the fun. Now, I definitely want to get this programmable block because I can't make them. And it's really, really handy to have a programmable block when you're wanting to set up a crane later because obviously I'm going to need cranes here. But because this is not the DLC one... I'm going to leave the block attached to it when I try and merge it onto here to keep this safe. Just pop it up there for now. I do have that programmable block, but obviously there's a decent chance I'll need more than one. There we go. Done. 
Yeah, programmable lock attached. Later on, I'll definitely want to do that with weld pads so that it uh, isn't a weird issue. Now, because I got that medium cargo container, I'm just going to grind down these small ones. And I'm going to try and get what stuff I can from this grid before we move on and have a look what else we can find. I don't think there's a whole lot else in here that I need to worry too much about. Just got to make sure I grab any of these wheels and any of the suspensions Energy that are intact low. because of the motors and the, tu and the steel tubes. Of course, there's no large steel tube in those spotlights either. And I'll mark this location because it's got the wind turbine before I leave. Obviously, the wind turbine is going to be really important if I find myself a good spot for a base. Nicole. Oh, what was in there? <laughs> don't think I'll need those, but um, I'll take them anyway. What's the extra tools? I don't need a weapon. I don't need a hydrogen bottle. I don't need any of that, actually. And I can grind down this piston and the landing gear. Turn off steer on the rear wheels. And increase the strength probably up to about 15%, I reckon. That might be a little too stiff, but I think it'll be okay. All right, now we've got a bit more of a stable platform. Let's go south southeast. That was the marker I said, because I've already forgotten the other one that I said. Now I'm a little more at risk of bottoming out, but I'm a lot less risk of rolling over. And I think the rolls are probably going to be my issue. Definitely can't wait to find more of those large steel tubes so that I can get big wheels on this thing. Yeah, this feels much safer at these high speeds. We've got a water tower and another shed. What's that? Oh! <laughs> okay. Uh, that would be what looks like the remains of a harvester. Alright, what's in the shed? I don't know if there's any good blocks on that harvester. I'll have to have a look. This shed has... Ooh, a thruster. That I'll need to take with me. Remote control, don't need, nope. Now we've got another remote. Got an antenna and a beacon, which I cannot build regular ones, so I should take those. Some more cargo containers. Let's see if there's anything in these. I'm not going to make use of the small cargo containers. They're really too fiddly for my taste. And they've got some components that are nice and handy, like the computer in them and the display. Oh, and a gyro. I missed the gyro on my way in. Awesome. Okay, I gotta get all these abo aboard my truck. I'm just gonna be slapping <laughs> things down on the side of the truck, just adding bit after bit after bit until I have a home base to drop them off at. For now though, they've just gotta stick on. All right, where am I gonna stick these pieces? Before I do that, let's check this. Does this wheel have anything good in it? No. How about you? Not really. Ooh, hinges. Yes, large steel tubes. Nice. Yep, got a couple. That's brilliant. That's great. I think we got three, five. Oh, even better. Does this have a power? Oh, it's got a cargo container. Yes. More cargo, more better. Oh, I've got to cut that out. So I've got a cargo container. I've got a few thrusters. Looks like a hydrogen engine here, but I think... Yeah, I'm just going to scrap that. Or do I... Oh, no. There's another one that's more intact. Yeah, I'll scrap this one. What's that? Warfare battery. Oh, with one steel plate in it. I suppose... No, I'm, I'm not I'm not bringing that. I'm scrapping that too. Some people are, who've played this <laughs> mode are going to be so angry at me for doing this, but... I'm just going to rely on having to find more. Or... Maybe I have to trade for this later. Maybe I'll pick up something that someone else wants. Maybe I'll have an extra wind turbine I can give away or something. Need to get this hydrogen engine out. Because that is intact. Because the hydrogen engine has a power cell in it. And the power cell scrap is going to be really valuable. So I'm going to hold on to that. But I'll hold on to it as a whole block. Because I may need to use it as a power source. If I find any hydrogen tanks that have any fuel in it. Can't wait to get a slightly better grinder. I don't want a full-on top-tier grinder, because then I will break things that I don't mean to. Because I'm never careful enough to use the careful grind modes. But I could definitely use something slightly better than the basic tier. Oh dear. It's rolling over. Oh, that's not good. Don't roll further than that, please. <laughs> I need you to be intact. I don't need this to take damage. Does this have any fuel in it? Ooh, it's full. 
Bonus. That's some extra power. That'll buy me a few extra minutes, probably. Oh no, it made it heavier though. Ah, oh, I can't actually pick this up. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I have to push this and I'm gonna have to use a piston. Oh, actually, because it's... Because it can be turned on, because it's got fuel, I could just put a piston on this and lift it up itself. I'm just going to push it over closer to the robot, and then I'll bring over the medium cargo and then figure out where I'm going to stick this thing on here. How? Because it is going to be tricky. Alright, so I think I'm going to stick the medium cargo around this side. I may try and get the engine on that side too, actually. It's going to be pretty hard to fit it in near this wheel. Whereas if I go around the other side, I can probably just put a piston on this and lift it up into position once I've pushed it into the right spot. So I don't need to merge block these all to my main grid. But the reason I'm doing that is because I think it makes it a bit safer for me to drive around <laughs> with it. Okay, so I'm going to go with... Some armor up here. And then a merge block on top. Is that what I want? No. I want to put a merge block there. And a merge block there. I'm going to try and bring those together. So I also need to probably build this up a little bit. Piston on here. And that's not tall enough because I can't get underneath. Build this up a little bit more. And I can crouch down here and I can get a landing here on there. Oh, oh. There we go. Before I lock this down, I've got to push it a little bit closer to the rover, so that hopefully when I align it, that when I put the piston down, this will all be just spot on right, or at least close enough that the merge blocks can lock. And hopefully nothing explodes, because that would be devastating. <laughs> You'd left with nothing. That would be horrible. Uh, can my piston extend far enough as well? That's the other problem. Turn the engine on. Hopefully my piston can go far enough. Oh yeah, it's good. It's going to be fine. There we go. We're locked. Yeah. Hydrogen engine added. And I'm going to turn it off because it's going to be my emergency power. In the event my battery runs out. The next thing I might try and look toward doing is building a bit of a flatbed trailer on the back here that I can throw pieces on. Any small grids. Small grid pieces that I want to grab. Alright. Uh, so now I want to make sure... I guess I'll just link them side to side even though that's not going to take components. At least it's some sort of a link between the two cargo containers. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 no. Okay, go further out. Oh, getting close, getting close. No, 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 why? <laughs> didn't I put the park brake on? No, oh, I didn't. Whoops. I just want I did. Yeah, got it. Okay. Huh. That is probably way too close to that wheel, though. That is going to be a problem. I think I'm going to have to lift the whole wheel base. Which makes me a bit more roll happy, but it will make it a lot, a lot less likely for that wheel to grab hold and then flip me. Because it could totally do that. So, wheel set number three before we leave here. Yay! <laughs> this rover is going to go through a lot of evolutions. Yeah, it's still... With how wide it is, I think this is not too top-heavy. I think it'll be okay. Once I get Energy myself a base, critical. I think I'll stop using the rusty textures on everything and I'll start using something clean so that I can see the stuff that I've repaired and I've polished up and brought to some shiny new use. I think until then, until I have my own sort of workshop, I think the rest of suits. So I should have a beacon on here that's uh, protecting my grid, my stuff nearby. Where is the beacon? Got an antenna in there. Oh, that is the beacon. That's the beacon right there. Okay, cool. So that protects my stuff from cleanup when the server has to do its cleanup to keep performance at least somewhat reasonable. Do I want to build a trailer already? Or do I want to just extend my wheelbase and make this thing a six-wheeler? I think I'm going to go with a six-wheeler first. And then we'll go to a trailer setup after that. This is going to make me instantly regret where I put the medium cargo, but it is what it is. Yeah, that'll be enough space. I think I've got enough large steel tubes to put down another pair of wheels. And if I don't, it's okay. It just means that they don't provide any tractive effort. 
because the wheels uh, have no friction if they're not built. Let's see. What parts do I have? Do I have any more large steel tubes? Oh, I actually don't have any. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm out. So I have no large steel tubes to build this up, but at least I've got all the other bits, I think. Cool. Right, that I didn't attempt 5 by 5s then. I wasn't keeping track of that. I thought I had some, but apparently I don't, didn't pick up any extras. How does that work? Maybe I haven't picked one up. Alright, let's grab you. Oh, you're a bit too heavy for me to carry. I don't have a means to move this thing. I don't want to... I, I just... Oh, I need to build a basic crane already. <laughs> I didn't want to build one straight away. I'm going to regret... I'm going to regret not taking these thrusters, though. There will be, a, there will come a point where I'm like, No, why did I do that? Why didn't I bring them? Uh, that means I'm going to have to build a basic crane on the back of here. Uh, let's do something real simple. I'll just build a rotor up on the top here. A couple of hinges and fixed length arms, I think. But I can't build hinges if I don't have... Yeah, I, I did pick up some large steel tubes. Where did they go? Because I picked them up from those hinges. Huh. That's very strange. What happened to those? That's very odd. I'm confused. Alright. Crane mounted in center of mass. Or near enough to. Between the wheelbase anyway. But at least likelihood of anything going wrong. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can get the pieces to build a couple of hinges. So I just need one steel tube for that. So I'm going to take the two from this. There we go. So I want one hinge here and then one hinge in the middle. That go, can go down. Uh, do I want to try and do a double piston? I think I do. I'm going to go double. Double piston, then another hinge. And then I might just have a fixed fixed arm on here. Because that's the easiest part to rebuild later. It's the end bit. So I'm best off. If I'm going to leave a bit that's kind of incomplete and not really built well, that's uh, going to be the end bit. Oh no, I'm out of computers. Uh, does anything here have computers? No! motors. Wait, you. You've got computers? Yes. The antenna has computers. Right. Have enough computers for the piston. Good, good. Alright, then I'm gonna put regular old grabby thing straight on here. Now I should ideally set this up with the park script. But I'm probably not gonna. <laughs> what I am gonna do is drag these thrusters and the gyro together and try and merge the three of them together so I've got one piece to grab. Oh, poop, I think I need um I think I need computers for the merge box, don't I? Yeah, I need one each. Alright, does something over here have computers? Please tell me something over here has computers. You might have a computer. Ah, you got five! Yes! Thank you, conveyor sorter, my saviour. Uh, anything else good in this bit? No, just conveyors. We'll get the motors anyway. At some point I'm going to want to repair those Atmo thrusters so that I've got a way to fly around to scout out new things. So I'll need all those motors later. Alright, let's start with merge block. These two together. Cool, thrusters are stuck together. Then, I need this thing to roll over. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to put a regular armor block on there. And then the merge block. Because if I do that, I can then remove these merge blocks. I don't have to keep them. If I don't do that, I'm going to end up with the merge block being attached to the gyro and I can't get rid of it. Okay, that should be pretty good for those two. Brought together. As my vehicle slowly crawls its way down the hill. And we're locked. And now I've just got one chunk to pick up with the crank. Uh, I think it's stuck beyond its limits, which is not good. Uh, we need to go hinge lock on. No, I think I'm going to have to do this. Uh, I hate doing that on a server. It's fine doing local hosted, this sort of stuff. Adjusting limits while something is unlocked. Super risky on a server. Okay, but we have a crane. <laughs> we have some thrusters. That'll be useful later. Just need to find myself a base and it's night time. Oh. I don't like driving at night. Okay, that's pretty secure there. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Inventory. I'll keep full. the antenna or I'll ditch the beacon. So I'm gonna, I've got to find myself a base. Somewhere to hunker down and store all my junk that I collect. Being mobile the whole time is not ideal. 
I'm happy with what I got from here. I'm going to head on. Oh, those wheels are not healthy. I forgot to turn off the steering. Okay, steering's off. <laughs> Let's try that again. If I find myself a base, I can grab those wind turbines now because I can sort of grab them with this thing. Didn't really take note of where anything was from here. Guess I'll have to drive around and wait and see. Can't see much in this horrible weather. Oh, there we go. 2.8 k's this way. Something 3.4 k's that way. Another thing 4 k's this way. Come on, give me somewhere to call a base of operations. Give me somewhere to call home. Oh, I really need to add some proper lights to this. Oh. Oh. What the tail end of a plane? Is there more of this? Where's the rest of it gone? Uh, this has a baby battery in it, but I don't think this has much else. Oh, pair of baby batteries. These are intact, so I may as well take them because that's that's some free power. I don't think there's anything else here to be worth here to be worth taking though. Oh, I have to hack this first. That's right. I think with these baby batteries, you can hack them without power cell loss. Yeah, quite easily. The bigger ones are a bit more tricky. It is possible, but it's quite difficult. Hacking these is fairly easy. Doesn't look like there's anything else useful on this. It's all just steel plate, really. I'm perplexed as to where the rest of the plane went, though. Would have thought there'd be more than that. Okay, battery's on. Those blocks ground down. Time to keep rolling. I need a base. Oh wait, do I have enough stuff to put some lights on here? I would like some light. It's dark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well... It does something. That is a very odd spread of light, but I shouldn't have made these vertical. I have already. I'm just going to live with it for a minute. Oh, especially when I see something I can head towards. It's 5k's away, but it's something. At least I've got a heading. Oh, 1.7k's. What's up here? Maybe it's the other parts of that plane. Hold up. Oh, the lighting goes weird. Oh, lighting goes weird. I think I might actually head down to those power towers. There was something down there that I'm curious about. I don't know what it is. What's this? What do we got? Oh, this is another part of the plane. Oh. Hello. I am going to want to take you with me. Doesn't look like there's anything else here, but I am going to want to take you with me. You're going to take me forever to find the parts to repair you, but... Dang. Large Atmo Thruster. That is a win and a half. Okay. So, that means I need to merge block this ridiculous thing down to the... Down to the back of the rover here. So, let's get some merge blocked on here. I could landing gear lock this, but I'm going to merge it. Just to be safe. No, don't fall off. There we go. Come on. Get on the merge block. Go, go, go. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're almost there. Almost there. Go on the thing. Yeah. Nice. All right, let's drive over near that Atmo thruster and we'll pick it up. And I am really, really stretching the limits. <laughs> Of what I can do if I don't just focus and just get large steel tubes at this point. I'm going to need a double hinge set up in this middle section so that I can fold this in on itself. So that's another reason not to work too hard on setting this up properly just yet. But at least at least this thing works for now. But it will be high on my priority list to get a crane that's properly functional. So bring this piston in a little bit. At least my center of mass will be a bit closer to the middle. So this isn't dangling too far off the end. Oh, too far. That's pushing against it. I don't want those phantom forces. Cool. It's bouncing, but it's safe. Awesome. Three Atmo thrusters. I'm obviously going to have to find metal grids somewhere, but at least I got the blocks. Um, I was heading this direction, I think. Yeah, there was something down on that kind of lake bed, I guess it was. That was really interesting. That I'm interested in checking out. So it looks like a larger building. A larger building on a perfectly flat lake bed seems like a very good option for a base. Could be. Could be. 
Oh, yes. We have a base location. Let's see what's inside. A whole bunch of shelves. Yes. I have a home. This is going to be my home. I've just got to clean out this place and then bring one of those wind turbines over here. Now, can I claim this by putting this down on it? I think I can. I think that should protect this, I hope. Even though it doesn't have power. Cool. Alright. This is going to be my base. This is absolutely going to be my base. What is here? Ooh! Oh, yes! And a cargo container! I don't have any metal grids for it, but still, cargo container. Oh, yeah. That is useful. Okay, this has a hydrogen engine, so I've got an option for some power on the main base beyond the wind turbines, but I probably will just steal this power cell for now. Oh, this isn't going to work at all. I'm not going to be able to manipulate that into that position. No! You know what? I'm just going to go to one of the wind turbines and hope. And I'm just going to drive into it <laughs> and pick up the whole tower attach to the front. Well, not the whole tower. I think I'm going to have to lower the tower and hope it doesn't destroy the wind turbine. How far am I from? 6Ks. GPS. Home. Base. I really hope this is still here when I get back. I really like this location. What could be a safe way of lowering this tower? So I can grind a chunk out. Could use one of these baby batteries, grind it off, attach a piston to it, and kind of use a little crawl, like a compressing crawler thing to slowly lower the wind tower turbine. Now I could use a similar system back at base to lift it and get it higher. Yeah. I think I've got an idea. Something that could work to hopefully make this a safe process. Because what I don't want to do is drop the whole wind turbine down and have it explode as it hits the ground. Because that seems like it could very much happen. Well, on the plus side, there is a grid still where I marked the GPS. So hopefully this turbine's still here. There's always the possibility someone else could have run off with it while I was gone. <laughs> oh no! I think someone might have been here! No! <laughs> the wind turbine's gone! Oh no! Oh. No! Everything else is here, so someone's got to have nicked that already. Oh! Oh, that sucks. Dang it. I wasn't ready to grab it yet. Oh. Alright, let's see if the other one's there. Otherwise, I'm back to square one. No. No. <laughs> two from two. Are oh, you kidding me? Ha oh. I was too slow. Oh, that sucks so much. Oh, something popped up over here. Let's head that way. That sucks. Oh, that sucks so much. Ah! Oh. Can't believe it. My power source. I was so happy. I felt so good about finding those straight off the bat. <sighs> okay, there are solar panels on that rail car. I've got to get them. Oh, but I... I I need a wind turbine. I need something I can put on a base. Not just something I can stick on this rover. Oh, but I can suppose... There won't be enough. No, I'm not I'm not trying to climb that. That's just going to be too hard. Okay, let's just... Let's go back to home base and think about what I can do. If I connect my rover up to the base, it'll at least have power. I should probably hack these doors, actually. Oh, this is going to take for years. <laughs> this grinder this is going to take so long. Uh, double click and just sit here and wait. Probably run out of soup power before this finishes. One door. Second door. 84 years later. Oh, what do these have? Go to, 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 go to. All girders. Do any of these have anything different? What are these fallen over ones? Actually, can I tell? I don't think I can see. No, they don't show up in the terminal. Oh, 
whatever they are, I'm going to grind down all of these shelves once I've got the cargo moved over to here, but I can't really move the cargo over and hope to build it up until later. Just want to get you out of the ground and get you welds up, because then I've got a nice big storage. Right. Drop off the thruster, and then I'm going out hunting for a power source. Can't believe how unlucky I got that I'd marked those two turbines and someone else found them before I got a chance to actually pick them up. That is some serious bad luck. But I've got my crane. If I find a turbine now, I can bring it home. Whack it on the base and I've got power. So I need to have power before I can log off. <laughs> I need to make sure that the rover's gonna get fully charged while I'm offline. Oh, that's not smooth. That's the first bit of rough voxels I've come across. That's definitely um, been lucky not to hit yet. <gasps> oh, 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 whoa, 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 that was so close. That was terrifyingly close to a rollover. I can't believe I held that together. Holy cow. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I can't believe that almost happened. I need to take it a bit more easy, I think. Especially when turning. Oh, here we go. That's within reach. 3Ks. I can definitely do 3Ks. 3Ks pretty much south. Just a little bit west of south. If it was daytime, I'd have a much better chance of seeing things. Oh, it's big. But it doesn't have anything I... Oh, I didn't realise I just got air there. Does it have anything I actually want? That's the other thing. It's a solid cluster of things. Yeah, we've got a few buildings here. That's... Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's catching up. What is in here? Anything that I actually can use? No large steel tube in that. And uh, that's all just conveyors, isn't it? Shouldn't expect too much of a dumpster. Alright, what about you, Jalopy? Have you got anything good on you? Thrusters in the back bed, three of them. Oh, are you kidding me? Of course I got a... Oh, large steel tube, three of them. Nice. That's another wheel. I think. Oh, and power cells. How many power cells did I just get? Three as well. Yes. Okay, that's a pretty good hole. <laughs> Let's see what else is around here. All right, decide what I'm going to bring, because I'm going to have to leave some stuff. I'm not going to be able to bring it all. It's a large grid programmable block. It will be valuable later. But I don't think I can do anything with it now. I have to accept that, that one's not going to be what I take. And a power cell, I'll take that. That's four from this little bit. What have you got? Collector. What about these buildings? What have they got? Order of glass displays. And these shelves have nothing. Ooh, a couple of grids, nice. Yes, that's that. That's half of what I need for my uh, like uh, my large grid cargo container. Oh, that's a third. I need just one more. No, just ammo. Well, still pretty good. Pretty good haul. Ugh, oh, that just takes too long. I'm not going to bother with. <laughs> I'm not bothering with the doors. Uh, we should be good. All right. Those are both power towers, they got nothing. Okay. Off I go to the next thing. I want to bring the... I want to bring the thrusters. I really want to bring the thrusters. Because then I've got... Six thrusters. Alright, I think what I'll do is I'll just pick this up, take it straight home and drop it off. And then go around again. I only get distracted by anything that's very close to my path. Should make it easier. Now, sure, it's one thing finding all these blocks, but I don't have the components to build them. So, I can't actually do anything with those thrusters. <laughs> like, I don't even have the... the grids to be able to build a cargo container on large grids, so... It's going to be a little while before I can utilize these thrusters, but... I figure by the time I get around to wanting them... 
I'll be glad that I collected these ones. Oh! Down here. Something little. That's another little truck. What's this one got? Medium cargo container. Alright. I guess I'll grab that too. I dream of a large cargo, but, you know, if I have to make do with a bunch of medium cargoes all piped to each other for my main hauler vehicle, that's fine. I can make do with that. Although at the moment I'm doing a bit of an all-purpose vehicle, my plan here is actually to try and build up a bunch of separate vehicles, one for each job. Because then I can ask people to come along with me to fulfill the job of the vehicle I don't have, which I think will be fun. We'll see how well I do at actually sticking to that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a little bit guilty of uh, getting carried away of those things. Getting a bit excited with the vehicle I'm building. Forgetting what I was saying that I was going to do. There we go. Oh, cool. Merged. Oh, that I think is a grid, actually. Over this way. Yep, I'm right. Anything good in these? Uh, in those wheels. The cryopods in the back, but have they got medical components? That's a big question. This one does. Excellent. Two of them. That is a useful component to collect. What about the other one? What's it got in the back? Oh, it's got... These are both cryopods. Oh. I'll have enough medical components to repair a survival kit if I find one. Inventory full. Yeah. That's awesome. All future plans, all totally not serving my current purpose of... I need power, but... I, d <laughs> I just can't walk past them. I should. I should just ignore it and move on. Oh. oh, please tell me. Please, please, please. I can see a tower. Please, please, please be a wind turbine. I need it. I need it so much. Oh, that looks promising. That looks really promising. I've got to get it before someone else steals it. It's not stealing. I didn't own it. <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. Yes! Yes! We have a functional wind turbine. Oh. Yes. That is amazing. That is what I needed so badly. Alright. Does the tractor have anything good on it? That's a fully intact wheel. That is very good. As well as a hinge. Large steel tubes, here we come. I can finish off this wheel. Yeah, six wheel drive. Actually, not five. <laughs> Much improvement. Yeah, I don't think there's anything too valuable on there. What about in the shed? What do we got? Ooh. Another hydrogen engine. Gonna guess there's some fuel in this one too. Yes, there is. Excellent. Right, let's get rid of the extra weight on it. Try and drag it out of here. But I will have to do the same trick as I did before and use the piston to merge it. Uh, that looks to be all that's useful in here. So I'll get this on the truck, then I'll get the wind turbine and take it home. If I do this, and then I put a mag plate on here, I can then just drive over, pick this thing up, and just drive with it on the front. It's going to be the least wonky bit about what I'm about to do. So I gotta figure out how to get that tower down. There we go. Now, for the next bit of weirdness, let's grind this back up. That's a nice little portable power source. And then, <laughs> this is gonna get weird. I am going to put a block on here. We're gonna mag plate this on. I probably didn't need that other block. I don't know quite why I built it. Then I'm going to need a pair of pistons. Because what I'm going to do is use this to gradually collapse this tower down. So, the idea was... I put... A piston or two on top of here. Where can I place that? Fine. Place it out here. That probably makes more sense anyway. But basically, I was going to place a piston on here. Grab the block above this one right here. So grab the one up there. Grind that out. Bring it down grab onto the next bit and just keep shrinking it down and get it down to at least the just three blocks I think and the wind turbine that I should be able to carry with my rover 
It's an idea anyway. I may need two of these contraptions to actually make this work. Now I'll be able to put that there and then put a regular. You can go a large one, but you can just go a regular landing gear here. Uh, what? The landing gear is not a unfriendly grid. What? I own it. What? What's going on? Grid unfriendly? What? Um. That's not right. Is it trying to... Is it giving me this? If I get rid of this. Or if I take over this, well then I take over this tower. It'll become mine. No, the wind turbine's still access tonight. How is this... What? <laughs> How have I built a landing gear that's access tonight? What are you doing, space engineers? What? I... What? How? How does it keep being access to night every time I build it? Uh, that does not make any sense at all. What if I build a mag plate on here? Is that going to be access to night? No. Good. Fine. We'll do it this way. Okay, so we're locked down there. We should be able to grind out both of these. Let's see what happens. Okay. Down we come. Alright, so yeah, I would need a second set. Or at least another lock here. So... If I build... Build another piston on here. So much work for a wind turbine. So yeah, this'll work. So now I just put a mag plate on here, grab it, unlock with the other one, send it up. How does this keep taking over my landing gear? It's real weird. Never had this happen before. Oh dear. Too far. So, uh, when not too far off. And then I should be able to grab this with the remaining thing. The reason I didn't want to move this whole tower intact was it's just so heavy. For my little vehicle, I think it's gonna be it would be too too top heavy and it would be a major problem. Oh, come on. Don't be like this. I don't know why I keep stealing my mag plates. It's rude. How dare they? I'm only stealing their wind turbine. How dare they make that more difficult? Four left after this, okay. In theory, I should use should be able to use a system like this to raise the tower as well to get more wind power if I want to get get it to be more efficient. So this should be a technique that I can utilize in multiple circumstances. Whether I will or not, because I may have other options, I'm not sure. Landing gear number 873. And this will be the last extension I need to do, I reckon. Oh, I did a bad thing. Oh, it didn't break. Yes. Phew. Okay, let's grind this thing down, and then we'll pick it up. Take it up. But at least by the time I did that stupid thing, <laughs> it was nice and short. Uh, so it wasn't a big problem. Yeah, those these one-off batteries can be really useful for setting up little contraptions like this, because they provide just enough power for you to do what you Energy need to do. Low. And they're really easy to manipulate and put in the right position. I think I just threw away some computers then when I accidentally ground down a piston with the control panel on it. I'm going to be very interested to see how this turns out. I don't think I've got enough anything to safely do this. Okay, got it. Let's lift it. Now it can lift it. That's something. Okay. <laughs> That's about as good as I can get that. Let's go. Now where's home? 3.5k is that way. Let's hope I don't crash. <laughs> the other option I was considering was just like sticking a landing gear on the front of my rover, driving up to the thing, cutting it off and just traveling with it. Stuck up way high in the sky, but the center of mass issues that creates are immense. 
with everything being so top heavy it's so easy on a slope like these sand dunes create to just topple over this was a lot slower but I think a lot safer at least until I've got enough uh, large steel tubes that I can build five by five wheels and have a much more stable platform to carry these things from but get this hooked onto the base don't need to do it in any special way I can just whack a couple of merge blocks down and that's it and then I've got power stick a connector down hook up the truck and it will probably gain a lot of power while I'm offline which is great I haven't run into anyone today but at least I <laughs> but there's definitely someone not far away because they took those two turbines oh I can't use large grid merge blocks I'm gonna have to use weld pads because uh, large grid merge blocks need too many oh actually maybe I can't steal them from my wheels but I need to have six each so I need 12 which is most of my wheels um yeah I guess that's probably the better way to do things although world pad's really not expensive how many computers do I have two six twenty five yeah I'm going world pads I'm doing it <laughs> I'm wasting them trying to think about how I can get that wind turbine upright without needing a full-on manipulation capable crane and the reason I don't want to do a full-on manipulation capable crane is because I can't right now <laughs> I don't have the steel tube to pull it off but what I think I can do is take this mag plate off just put an empty just put an unbuilt rotor on here and mag plate on that and just use that to allow the thing to rotate itself although it looks like I have parts for a small grid rotor so that's fine I can use a rotor I have to remember that if I don't have parts for a hinge I do have parts for a rotor all right I think I've got this figured out I think I should be able to drive now and just plonk this directly on and then hopefully drop it and have it merge itself in place picked it up at the top and I kind of rotated it around <laughs> until I got the right way. No! Go! Dang it. <laughs> oh wait, I can kind of manipulate this with the, the hands. What could I do to take advantage of that? Anything? I don't know. I have a stupid idea may result in basically no power but the results in this thing getting connected now I'm gonna be happy I just hope it doesn't explode yes <laughs> it produces 94 kilowatts wait 341 watts oh boy that is not enough <laughs> oh it's something it is what it is. I have to call it a night, so I need this to be. <laughs> uh, boy. Hinge. And small head. Let's park relatively in front of it. And I'll connect myself up. And hopefully that will give me enough power to last for a week. I don't think it's going to, but we'll see. Let's see what I can turn off in the meantime. Okay, lift this hinge up using the lower limits because I don't have the ability to build this thing. It should get me these connectors aligned well enough that they'll be able to lock. This is janky as, but I'm just trying to do this quickly. Okay, locked. I'm technically locked onto that grid. So, how long is my battery likely to last right now? Let's start by turning off all the pistons. Turn off the programmable block. Uh, turn off these lights. Turn off the gyro. Really hope I don't forget that I've done that. All right, how long's the battery lasting now? Fully recharged in four hours. Yes. <laughs> don't know how, but I'll take it. This is. Oh no, it has 112 kilowatts. It was only outputting those few watts. That's that's all. I misread the build vision thing. Good. I have 112 kilowatts. Perfect. 
<sighs> That's good. Sweet. Well, I have a home base. I have a starter rover. I have things. I am going to have to go out and search for a whole lot more stuff. I'm going to hopefully get that cargo container on to the base sometime soon. But I'm definitely going to need to put a lot of energy into getting an early crane that has proper manipulation setups. I should have the materials now to do it. So I'm going to scrap that crane. I'm going to put on park and I'm going to script it up and get it all setting, set up and working properly. Because an early crane that's functional is super, super valuable. I've got a few cargo containers, so I should have a decent amount of stuff to carry with, like, be able to carry a decent amount of stuff with me. So that's good. But yeah, hopefully we'll run into someone and not have them steal the... I really should stop saying seal. Not have them take the wind turbines that I thought I was going to get hold of, but actually meet up and do some productive stuff together. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then.